Welcome everyone, my name is Danny, this is TechRidge, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install ScreenFetch on your Ubuntu and Debian based distributions. And as you see here, this is what ScreenFetch looks like, and it gives you brief information of your system, such as icon themes, uh, your specs, and uh, resolution, and uh, simple information that people could find useful with the logo that you're currently with the distribution logo based on the distribution that you're running uh, but today I'll be showing you how to install this but not just that I'll also be showing you how to automatically open it so as you see here once I do control alt it automatically launches and to also change the logo so say if you don't like the Ubuntu logo, you can change it to another distribution logo. You don't have to stick to just this one. All right, so let's begin. So first things first, guys. Ah, sorry, wrong, wrong browser. What I need you to do is install a repository. Now, that was the wrong browser. Um, this repository is from a trusted source. As you see here, Canonical Group. So from the developers who had created Canonical, uh, looks like it's stashed within their their repository database, Canonical TLD. So you can trust on this. All right. So what you're gonna have to do is first copy this line here. Now this is the name of the repository, the PPA. Okay. You're gonna paste it. Then just to make this a little faster, what you can do is you can do two ampersands followed by the sudo apt get update okay now as you see i already have it installed obviously so i wouldn't need to run this but you go through the process but well, right after you click enter it will ask for your password and then it'll go through the process really fast and then uh that's it so after you do that step the last thing you're going to be doing simply sudo apt get install screen fetch there okay click enter it's gonna ask you for a password and there well for me as you see there zero newly installed because it's already installed right but as simple as that It'll automatically be installed. Now, all you have to do is type in screen fetch and voila. It will display the logo of whichever distribution you're currently running. Alright, so now that's the first step of what I'm showing you how to do. Okay, um, I'll also be leaving the steps down below in the description uh, just to make sure that you understood me well. You know, I'm still trying to get used to this whole YouTube thing. <laughs> so be patient with me. <laughs> All right. So as for step two, now, like I mentioned before, right, there's this file here that you come across. It's called a dot bash file. Well, bash RC file. All right. And the reason why it says here dot bash in front of, well, there's a period in front of it. It's because it's considered a hidden file. I can do control H and now it'll disappear. Okay, so what you have to do is first go to your home folder, okay? Then do control H and now all the hidden files will be shown there within the folder. Okay, now this is the bash RC file. All right, so make sure to look for it in whichever distribution you're running. Uh, certain distributions actually do not have the dat bash RC file so you'll have to create one yourself now remember to make sure that you are creating a dash bar C RC file and not a folder if you create a folder this will not work I know because I did it before <laughs> okay so open this up with whichever text editor you have mine is gedit and then you'll come across all this okay so what you have to do is go all the way down. You could ignore all of this. This is irrelevant to you. Okay. And then just go all the way to the bottom and type in screen fetch. 
as I have here. Then I want you to type in screen fetch, click save, and you're done. <laughs> That's it. Nothing else. And what I mentioned before, for those Arch users, uh, for people who use Manjaro, what you have to do is that you'll have something similar to screen fetch, and I believe something else afterwards. And but what you see before that is that you'll get you'll get here the pound sign. So what you'll have to do is simply delete it, as you see here, and now it'll change. Now it'll be considered a command. But I'm gonna put that back. Okay, so that's all you have to do for you, for us. So I can stop, but we never touch. We never have to touch this again, unless we want to change the logo, which I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, so click save. Now, if you want to change the logo, what I would suggest first do screen fetch slash dash h which means help so you would get all uh, basic information related to screen fetch and it's very useful I highly recommend it um, most commands do have dash h or you can just type in help after screen fetch and you should still get the same exact screen okay and the reason why I wanted to pull this up is because you see here supported good news slash Linux distributions now, I'm paying attention to the very same exact way that they are spelled. The reason why I'm saying this is that, so when you want to get the logos of these distributions, just make sure you're typing it in correctly. See with the capitalization here, like in Mangia, and then it will demonstrate it. So, let me show you right now how this works. So, let me open up another terminal. Okay. So, I'm going to type in screen fetch dash capital A dash now put quotation marks, oh, single quotation marks. Then I'm going to type in, well, let's see, I'm running Ubuntu. So, let me put in. See which just show my feeling today. Let's try mutter. Never used it before. Okay, take that out. Enter. Huh. So I guess I spelled that wrong. Oh. Hmm. Try something else. Hey, sorry about that guys. I just came across my error. I was looking over here at desktop managers. No, I'm sorry, at window managers. That that wasn't correct. I want to be up here or just get new Linux distributions. <laughs> sorry about that. So go back up here. Now you can start typing in the distribution name. So let's see here. They have Arch Linux. So type in Arch space Linux. Voila. Okay, and that goes for any other distribution. So just make sure you look at the spelling. And here it goes. Yeah, like that. Now, just have to resize it. There you go. Now, if say you want to start launching Anteragos now as your main screen fetch logo, just be sure to copy it. Go to back to your bash RC file. Then simply paste it over the screen fetch you had just previously put in into your bash RC file. Click save. I'm gonna close these. B 
because resources voila there you go guys and that's how you do it all right so feel free to leave any comments below if i left anything out you know definitely mention that below uh if i could comment back i will um if uh yeah if there's anything helpful that i can include please leave that in the comments so then i'll be sure to uh, leave those within the description or i'll put in them within um, the video so yeah all right guys that's pretty much it so i showed you how to install screen fetch onto your linux computers